Nordic Hardware's bevakning på NVC 2015 presenteras i samarbete med Huawei Asen Mate 7. Vi har hittat in till Intel och tagit en lite närmare titt på deras satsning på trådlös laddning. Och jag har en riktig expert med mig här, Richard, som ska hjälpa oss att gå igenom den här nya tekniken. Hi Richard, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi, can you please tell me a bit about uh, Intel's new technology here? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a um, the transmitter, uh, which is actually embedded into the desk here, uh, about one inch under the wood. And uh, this is a uh, reference design that we have that is available. And you can see here that the LEDs are blinking that is creating the magnetic field. And I can actually go ahead and lift it up and you can see that, you know, so it, it, it's about uh, 50 millimeters that it will actually go ahead and allow for the uh, magnetic field to, to be created. So as I uh, just move this over a little bit, I can then uh, take my smart device and be able to go ahead and place it inside of that range so that I want to be able to charge that device. And I'm just going to switch that out for another device here. So as I am able to to place the device into the range, it starts to charge. Okay, so one of the advantages of uh, Resonance, the uh, A4WP, is also being able to go ahead and to charge multiple devices. So uh, here, um, as, the, as the Samsung device is also added in, it automatically will start to go ahead and uh, allow for uh, multiple devices to be, uh, to be charged, and even when I remove the other one, it still continues. In addition to that, the scalability, to be able to actually go ahead and then add in uh, and charge up the, the laptop with uh, t uh, 20 watts. So there you're able to go ahead. And I can move it uh, in any direction to be able to go ahead. And again, it's not going to actually um, uh, lose the charge. So it has the, the freedom of, uh, of, of, of movement, right? Of being able to go ahead and, and uh, you know, be able to go ahead and have that larger range, which is also something that differentiates us. So again, the Alliance for Wireless Power, the A4WP, using uh, resins. So that's going to be the next generation that we're looking for in wireless uh, charging. Cool. How, when will we see this technology in the products and in, in the market for consumers? You'll see about uh, 20 to 40 of our different partners uh, coming out with different products uh, later this year, at the end of 2015. Okay, and then we're talking not only phones, but also laptops and uh, portable computers? That's correct. So you'll be seeing some different devices, uh, third-party vendors creating covers that will have the, uh, the, the uh, receivers in there, as well as different types of jackets and uh, different, uh, eventually, or the OEMs are also going to go ahead and place them directly inside of the, the laptops and the tablets. Okay, do you know if we'll see the OEMs do that already this year or is there something that might be taking a while for... Uh... I, I think that's going to be a decision by each one of the OEMs, but I think eventually, initially you'll see uh, a lot of the third party uh, vendors come out with uh, devices that will, again, be jackets and sleeves and covers, and then eventually you'll see them integrate them in. Exactly, I mean, for me, looking at this, it's uh, something that I personally been uh, really aching for to have in my home, but I, I still I need a table. <laughs> How, how's that going to work? We've seen IKEA doing stuff now. They announced that they're going to do like wireless charging desks and stuff. Have Intel also some collaborations in this kind of apartments? Or yes. Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned before, with the uh, the prototype for the for the, for the uh, receiver and the the transmitter, it's actually going to go ahead and retrofit furniture and things of that nature. So that's something that will allow the existing furniture or um, other types of uh, materials to be able to go ahead because again this uh, the transmitter is embedded in the in this desk here so it has about one inch of material to make it through in addition to the fact that it also has quite a significant range to actually lift it up so you can see there that I have the the actual LEDs or creating different types of three-dimensional objects you know and again it's still the magnetic field is able to go ahead and, and be completed if it was a bowl or something of that nature so you would actually be able to buy one of these uh, transmitters yourself and maybe build uh, yeah build your own disk wireless uh, charge desk more or less eventually if you uh, if, if somebody was an OEM and or, uh, or an ODM wanted to be able to go ahead and, and uh, receive the reference design and then build something of that nature that would be something that uh, you know could be compatible as well okay do, do you have any like uh, limitations 
limitations on what kind of materials uh, that you can that you can use to be able to transfer the magnetic field through? No, I mean you know even if we were to uh, to be able to go ahead and put down any type of uh, you know metal or anything of that nature, it's perfectly safe. There's not going to be any type of heat that's conducted as well. So that's also uh, something that differentiates us from the different standards that are in the uh, in the uh, market right now. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Så då alltså, trådlöst laddning som vi har väntat på det här. Vi hoppas att det här kan vara kanske steget som får oss att slippa kablar för all framtid. Vad är det vi förväntar oss att se här egentligen? Mycket nytt för hela kommande året. Ett flaggskepp från många av de stora tillverkarna.